Let's do this. And let's do this. <laughs> All right. I've got a little admission to make before we start crushing 200 Zoom. I don't usually do this, but I've been drinking. I've been drinking some mead. It's the first time in my life I've ever had mead. And I've got to be honest, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's uh, it's kind of exactly what I, I've always wished that honey, no, sorry, that wine would taste like. It tastes like, uh, it tastes really nice. It tastes like honey. All right, we're going to be checking. Uh, I guess we're just going to be checking again. Here, I guess we're going to be opening. It seems like an open. I would, I would bet, I would wager it's an open. All right, so we're obviously just going to be checking, taking these to showdown. This bad boy to showdown. And we're going to be losing against, what do we have? Straight. Cool. Um, now, my estimates would say that we want to be squeezing this and then saying, oh, fuck, he's shallow. Oops. <laughs> I'll take it, though. And then on this board, we are going to be... I guess we're just going to be potting it. No two ways about it. I was trying to think of something fancy to do, but no bueno. All right. Four cards is nice. It's hard to miss a flop, right? I've run good in my lifetime PLO. All right, we've got two boards. And this one looks more fun. We flopped an open ender and a pair and a backdoor flush draw. On this one, we've got a pair, some backdoors and some overs. I think we're meant to call this. I could be wrong on that one. Here, we're gonna, I'm gonna check call. Turn two pair, very nice. Ching back here, we've got a six. We have bottom of range here, actually. We think we can start bluffing. And here we're just gonna check shove. I hope to dodge stuff. Uh, what's he got? He's got a six. We have the straight draw. He has the flush draw. And we have a seven. He's got a ten. Oof. Ace ten wins it, huh? Huh? Nice end, my friend. Nice end. Make up with kings. Uh, should we just flat again? It's not the best kings. Open in, very pretty hand. Here, some blockers. Now, blockers in PLO, I think are a little bit nicer than blockers in Hold'em. Depends on the spot, obviously. But this little king of clubs gear here, it's looking pretty juicy. Um, I'm going to be checking here. Gonna be potting the turn over here, and if checked to us again, nice, got a fold there. <clears throat> I think I'm actually gonna go pretty small. We have pretty much everything but flush draws in pretty terrible shape. The min rays, what do you got, deuces? You got like double pair, deuce, deuce, king, king, or something? Deuce, deuce, eight, eight. Blocking a ton of them. And it's kings and aces, he'll bet on the flop. What do you got? Let's do that. I don't know what you got. No, nothing. Right. Fair enough. Kings again. I'm actually very good at flopping sets with kings in PLO. <laughs> it's like a, it's a little bit of talent of mine. Alright, if you got aces, you got aces, my friend. But if you don't, I'm in great shape. All right. If he calls, it's not aces. Uh, that's aces. Twenty-eight point nine percent. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I don't. Uh, take a jack, please. Take a jack, please. Rats. The other guy won it. It's pretty nice. Nice little set. If 
you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find a complete archive of the bank roll challenge. Very nice hand to be caught on a three bit. I'm Adam. Interessant. Interessant indeed. Now he's going to have a lot of aces. He's going to have a lot of aces. We're going to have a lot of flushes. Do I want to try and bluff him off aces? It seems really wild, but it seems kind of could, like it could be funny. It seems so unbelievable when I just mean Oh, yes, boys! Yes, boys. <laughs> Shout out to the set of dishwashers, man. <laughs> All right, shout out to the quads of dishwashers. Uh, I guess we just check. More dishwashers over here as well. Just got to hope something boats up on the river, I guess. Or flushes up on the river or something. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. Here we're going to be checking quads. Call it protecting range, call it trapping, call it whatever you want. I ain't betting. Because if somebody has a straight, you are getting more value. Alright, here we've checked turn. We're just going to be potting. And assuming he doesn't have to nut flush when he goes that size with the queen blocker. So, whatever. How about it? Here, everyone had nothing. Next best hand is jacks. Solid. I assume this is a fold. Don't know though. No idea. All right. Ace queen. Don't think we want to go too big. Dream turn. Do that. Here we open aces. Oh, Jack Dangler's got us in good shape. I'm gonna do that. I know it seems weird. It might be, it might just be terrible. I think we're okay. Tell me of kings, and uh, regret everything. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, believe us. King Jack, huh? King Jack, no good, my friend, no good. Well, that balances out the others. A little bit of run good ski. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I don't. Uh, this is not an open. <laughs> I'm not a professional, so I can't tell you this with absolute certainty, but I'm going to say with relative certainty, this is not an open. Pretty nice hand to see bit, though. Got that little wheel, back door, got that top pair, got that back door. Oh, now top two, oh. Oh, just gonna pot it. Here, I assume we fold. The only PLO I've really played is high stakes live. When, uh, either when I've been sitting down at some PLO table in a casino for lols, or when I've been playing in a private game. <laughs> I think some of the first hands I ever played at PLO, I think I played some 2550 or 1025 or something like that, um, and crushed. And then played some live 100, 200. As my next bout. <laughs> and crush. So running running good lifetime PLO. Uh, we have a pair and a flush draw. And a straight draw. Takes me a while. I played some heads up at some point and uh, I used to have Ben next to me being like, This is what your hand is, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, let's see if we just get this in. Good luck, us. And we're flipping against aces. Confirming our choice. Resume hand, guys. Never cash out. D-O-T-T, -T, boys. D-O-T-T. Either one of those cards on the turn would have done it. Alright, we have what was two pair and a flush draw. 
and is now pretty much the worst hand we could ask for. Uh, I'm just going to give up. I'm just going to give it up. Tens is good. That hand was not going to call us. However, don't worry about it. C betting. Uh, going to be... Everything seems bad, so I'm just gonna check it. Here we're gonna three bet, double suited. That was straight away. <laughs> the the mead's kicking in. Gonna bet in around half. Is this a def somebody tell me this this seems too loose, isn't it? Seems like probably not a defend. It's actually a very nice turn. Uh, so we're just gonna tank and we're we're obviously not gonna get him to fold any uh I don't know, I guess tank is known from not ninety two pair or anything, but let's do it. Nice. Uh we've check called top pair, which might even be loose in itself, but with the back door, it's pretty fine. Ooh, how well do these hands play? What kind of boards do we want? We want ace high boards. We get a lot of lower straights, which is an issue. That's, that's probably just a terrible hand, isn't it? Shame. Not playing Badoogie or Raz or something. <clears throat> this is what poker should be like. Figuring out how good your pre-flop hand is. <laughs> None of this solver shit. Telling me what to open. I've heard that there are a lot of people using RTA in these stakes and uh, or just bots in general. I wouldn't be surprised. I bet I could outplay a bot. You know, I'm probably wrong on that. <laughs> but I bet I could. Um, let's check all this. We got the Ace of Spades. Now we've got a double straight draw and the ace of spades. Look how nice that is. Check all it. And every now and again win. It's queen jack is good. If we hit a straight, we're in business. If we hit a spade, we're in business. I don't think he pots too many non- not flush draws or any flush draws that aren't not flush draws on the turn. So I think our spade bluff outs are clean. <clears throat> At least not many of them. So good at sets of kings. So good at sets of kings in PLI. Alright, so the question if it if if he okay, I was gonna say if he bets to be shove, but uh I assume you just check. If he's got aces, then he'll bet himself. He's not got aces, so we need to, to catch up. Uh, here, we just want to tank. We just want to give him time. <sighs> just uh, convince a recreational player that we don't have the nuts. Nice. Oh, I said nice without the nuts. That was pretty stupid. <laughs> Take a seven though. I'll take I'll take a three. I'll take a three. I'm not being oh, brutal. Cashed out as well. Playing against stars, no chance. All right, we got. Okay, we got some stuff. We got some stuff going. I've got a straight draw, a flush draw, and top pair. And uh, sorry, uh, top and middle. Top and third. <laughs> I assume we can just bet. Don't know what we're trying to get value from, but there's a lot of stuff out there, so it doesn't really matter. Make some like King Queen Jacks. All right. Now we want to get value from some 10 8, 7 8, sounds like that. So let's, let's go like that.
And there's a chance because he's a recreational player, he might just bluff. Um, wrapping nothing on the turn. Uh, on the river, sorry. Alright, we're going to play for one more stack. I want to win one more stack. And then, uh, we'll call it a six session. This is fun. I like it, man. This is, this is good fun. I see we just have to check for all this, which is kind of sad. Check folding second pair to a holding player to one bet. Ain't fun. But we didn't have any any cards to improve on. Even our set gave a gave a straight. Very pretty. All right. If there's a hand, I'm gonna be three bet bluffing. It's this one. I'm actually going three bet smaller, because <laughs> with these kind of hands, I intuitively feel that you kind of want a bigger SPR, because so much of the time this is gonna happen. Uh, all right, dude. All right, dude. This is punt. I gotta be honest. There's, there's, there's no two ways about this. This is a complete and utter punt. <laughs> yes, boys. Yes, boys. Is that a bluff card? I see. What do you got? Jack ten. Probably good. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Easy. He's either dead, even if he has two pairs, he's a dead bunch. Don't know why I think I'm min raise aces. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's just maybe ace ace ten eight. Um that was good fun. Definitely not playing scared. Double suited yaks. That reminds me of uh, the Wacko. I feel like that's how I'd say Jax. I don't know if he actually does, but sounds like him. Double two to Yicks. I love that guy. I should do a review of the Wacko. Like the video if you want to see me do a review of the Wacko. His cash games. Shout out to Triple Ace. Uh, I feel like we're just flat. Got some blockers and shit, they're kind of helpful. I'm gonna check this one. All right, with the three blockers here, we're going for it. With the ace of hearts as well, it's very beautiful. He's just not folding straight, is he? Wow, he called the bottom straight. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I guess he thinks I have a bunch of like kings and aces there. And I'm just bluffing. Kudos, bro. Kudos. All right. All right. Embarrassed. Humiliated. Let's try and rep some quads. Let's, uh, let's go 10. Snap call is better than a tank call. Uh... I'm gonna call and then fold rivers. Am I? What's he got? I'm going all in. Yes, boys! <laughs> I've somehow opened this under the gun because I was so excited about the other hand. <laughs> we haven't played for a stack yet. Well, that might be a great place to end. <laughs> we'll see what the poker gods will give us on the sit down next big blind. A little bit of range analysis against a recreational player. Still got it, even though I don't play this game.
I don't know what this thing is. Looks like it's trying to steal my money. <laughs> Just because it starts. Guys, that was fun. Remember to subscribe. Peace. And that's how you stop recording. <laughs> If you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find a complete archive of the bank roll challenge.